let's see, I would like to get better at dirty talk during sex and for my partner to get better at it too. Do you know some resources to bring more dirty talk into the bedroom? Oh, I teach a class called Aural, A-U-R-A-L, sex. Aural sex. Okay. So here's the secret with dirty talk. It's not about the dirty words. And most of the time, it's not even about what you say. It's how to say it. Okay. Uh, does anybody have a local newspaper, some non-sexual reading material, some weekly uh, uh, computer textbook, The Economist, something? <laughs> here, here we go. Newsweek, perfect. Good. Okay. <laughs> This week, excellent. So you might think that uh, talking dirty is about using swearing like a sailor and using filthy words. Not necessarily so. Not everyone's going to be comfortable with that. You know, it's like there's a time in which I kind of feel awkward with that. And until I joined the military, I actually never said a dirty word. Square nerd. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, the army changed that for me. <laughs> yeah. So, but it's how to say it. Now, the language that you put into that, that's up to you. But it's how to say it. I give you a little randomly pull over. Ooh, let's not read about the Celtic bishop says. <laughs> <laughs> oh. iPad. Unfortunate choice of name. <laughs> okay, so first of all, there's a difference in the distance of communication. Okay? So let's see. Who can I pick on? Can I somebody uh, care to help me out? Here's my okay, okay. So if I'm having a nice chat with you like this. And then in a very nice chat distance, socially appropriate distance in the northern, northern uh, North America, or if I stop, okay, if I'm saying, hello, how are you, what a nice day it is, or I could say, Except I went into the ear and you said, what? Breathy. Hello. How are you? What a nice day. <laughs> Throw a little. Uh. non-intimate distance to an intimate distance. Uh, non-intimate direction to intimate body part. Add texture of hot breath and a warm tongue. Okay? And I said the same thing. Hello, how are you? What a nice day it is. Okay? Or, <coughs> think really different. The iPad will change the way you use <coughs> computers, read books, and watch TV, as long as you're willing to do it in the Steve Jobs way. Uh, what's the big deal about Apple's iPad currently arriving in stores on the biggest wave of hype since, well, Apple's iPhone? The, the easy answer is that the iPad came from Apple, and we always expect big things from... <laughs> right? Okay, now listen to how differently I can say the same thing. And imagine this in the ear. Think. Breathe. The iPad will change the way you use it. TV. As long as you're willing to do it the Steve Jobs way. Arriving in stores on the biggest wave of hype since. 
Apple's iPhone. Amazing answer is that iPad came from Apple. We always expect big things from Apple. <laughs> Smut anthologies. You guys have some of the, yeah, yeah. And the smut anthologies are great because you can uh, pick them for theme, orientation, types. You know, you're looking for, let's see, um, heterosexual romance, sex, or let's say you're looking for gay, uh, let's see, gay Native American werewolf kind of sex. <laughs> There's actually an anthology around Native American gay werewolf sex fantasy anthology. I, I saw it, it's really sexy. So, you know, whatever genre you're into, you can find it. And then read it to one another. And you can read it into somebody. Nice position to have is like curling up in bed, holding your sweetie, book in this hand. So this way, breath, air, Book. <laughs> so, tip on talking dirty. Takes a little practice, but it's fun practicing. And you will feel a little silly and giggly, and that's totally fine because giggly actually is a, a system arouser. Giggling, that kind of nervousness, gets the system fired up. Giggly and nervous can also add to. So enjoy the giveaway. <laughs> 